As we await for the commitment of five-star quarterback Ty Simpson in the class of 2022, I wanted to talk about a commitment that actually happened last night, and that's Reuben Owens to the University of Texas. And I wanted to talk about, one, why the caliber of player Texas is getting is phenomenal, but two, some of the things his dad said parallel what I've been talking about here on this channel, and I think it's incredibly important to the future of the Texas Longhorns and Steve Sarkeesian, and you don't want to miss it. But before we hop into that, as always, y'all know the drill. I want to hear from y'all. So hop down in the comments and give me a why for yes or an N for no. Do you believe Sark is sending a clear message that he plans on pounding the rock with all these great running backs he's getting? And even further than that, Texas fans, I want to hear what y'all think about Sark's very short tenure at the University of Texas thus far. Now, I understand he hasn't coached a game, so we're, we're tempering our expectations to be just recruiting and what we've seen thus far, but I really want to hear what y'all are thinking. Guys, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification, that way you don't miss any of my uploads, because I do constant college football content player reviews, film analysis, talk style videos like this, and I'm on my push to 5,000 subscribers within my first year of having a YouTube channel, but I can't do that without y'all. And I would love to have you along for my journey as I continue to grow this channel and have you a part of this awesome community. Guys, if you enjoyed the content, be sure to like, comment down below, because that stuff goes a long, long ways in helping content creators like myself get picked up by the YouTube algorithm. But with all of that being said, Let's talk about Ruben Owens. And first and foremost, I want to kick it off with the caliber of player he is. Because my goodness, he's the number one player in the state of Texas, the number two running back in the nation in the, for the class of 2023, and also the number 26 player in the nation. Now, as of right now, 24-7 Sports lists him as a four-star prospect, but that will all change once the rankings are redone because he's a five-star through and through. He's a guy who stands 5'11", but I actually had to do a double take because when I was watching his film, I thought he stood like six foot. I mean, he really carries his size really well, and I think he'll grow a bit. I think he could enter college at six foot even, six foot one. He has that frame to be a taller running back and to do it very well. Because stylistically, I think 24-7 Sports once again knocks it out the park, comping him to TJ Yeldon. And as an Alabama fan, I loved TJ Yeldon when he was at the capstone. I thought he was an incredibly crafty running back, and he was really a jack-of-all-trades, and that made it very hard. Now, guys, if you're new to the channel, you wouldn't have heard me say this, but for those of you that have been around a long time, you'll hear me talk about why I think Najee Harris is so great. And I'm not saying that Ruben Owens is Najee Harris, but it's the same thing that TJ Yeldon offered and it's the same thing that you hope Reuben Owens will be able to offer once he steps on to campus, and that's that he's an every down back. You can run any formation with that guy in the game because he can do it all, and that really made it hard for defenses defending Alabama because they could go from the spread to an eye in the blink of a second because Najee Harris didn't have to sub out the game. You never knew what they were going to do with him, and that really points to the second thing I wanted to talk about. We've just talked about Reuben Owens is going to be a phenomenal playmaker at the University of Texas. He is going to be an incredible one-two with Jaden Blue, who Sark got for the class of 2022, and Sark's sending a clear message, in my opinion, that he plans on running the rock, and running the rock with authority. My lord, Bijan Robinson, Jaden Blue, and now Reuben Owens. Very, very impressive stuff for Steve Sarkeesian. And the offensive acclamation of talent to Texas continues. We've talked about how all of the big-time recruits to Texas thus far have been on the offensive side of the football, and that's not surprising to me, right? That's his calling card, and we need to talk about why it's so intriguing that Reuben Owens committed. And the very first thing is who Texas won him over. Now, his dad talked about how Tom Herman and the Texas Longhorns had been in play well before Steve Sarkeesian was there. But even when Tom Herman and Texas were on him, he was an OU lean. And Texas fans know this. I don't have to tell y'all. There's one program in the nation you really don't want to lose a recruit to. It hurts losing a recruit to Alabama, but you can rationalize that. It's Nick Saban. It's Alabama. They're not in our division. Fair. You don't want to lose a recruit to OU. It's like a Bama fan losing a recruit to Auburn. It just stings, right? It just hurts a little bit different. And so when you're able to clinch this guy from the jaws of an OU class, who we've talked about, if you're an offensive player, OU is the move, or is a move in college football. My lord, it's looking like Texas might be one of them, depending on what Sark's able to put together on the field this year, but I digress. I want to talk about some of the other things his dad said, and I want to talk about why and this is so intriguing. And one of the things his dad said that I've been talking about here on this channel is the way Sark schemes players. Now, I get some pushback on some videos to saying that 
anybody could do what Sark did at Alabama, look at the players he had. And I always point them, and that's why I made that film study of Steve Sarkeesian against Ohio State, because that's talent on talent. That's an even playing field, and it was not an even night. I'm not saying it was simply because of Sark. Of course, having Devontae Smith, Najee Harris, that offensive line, John Mechie, and when healthy, Jalen Waddell, Mac Jones, my goodness, the weapons, of course that helps, but you still have to call the plays and you still have to scheme those guys into the best positions possible. And the crazy thing about it is Najee Harris just did an interview saying that the offense that he was going over with the Miami Dolphins and some of the process, and especially at the Senior Bowl going through these offensive plays, Najee was like it was all clockwork. Sark is running an NFL offense, and Sark's motions are just super advanced. So Texas fans need to be excited about that because this kid and his dad noticed that. That's something I said in that video. These kids are going to see that and be very excited because it allows them to showcase their talents and to be put in a position that allows them to succeed. That's the thing about Sark that I really like is he puts in his players and his playmakers in the best possible position for them to be able to capitalize on their ability. And I think that's where this thought comes in that Sark isn't all that, it's the talent. Sark's scheme is what allows the talent to maximize what it is. Sark has a big hand in that. If you're a guy like Ruben Owens, who in 140 touches gained 1,500 rushing yards and 22 touchdowns, you're going to be pretty darn excited when you see Steve Sarkeesian become the new head coach at the University of Texas and see the scheme that you will be playing in. It's also interesting because his dad name dropped some coaches and one of them was a guy I just made a video on talking about how he will be so important and boom, like clockwork, a week later that pays dividends and that's Brandon Harris. Now, his dad talked about Stan Drayton, Steve Sarkeesian, but he was certain to name drop Brandon Harris and I made a video talking about why Brandon Harris is going to be so important and why guys like Brandon Harris are going to be so important. A young guy that can relate to the student athlete that is the most relatable person there on the staff because he knows the process of being a student athlete, he knows the grind, he knows the want to, he knows the work, and he's a young guy. I know some people might not think that that matters, but that does matter to a student athlete having somebody that they can confide in that they really feel like is a relatable figure to them. The other thing his dad said that's something that I've alluded to is the exciting nature of this coaching staff in general, even outside of Brandon Harris and Steve Sarkeesian. The staff as a whole that Sark put together is truly impeccable. And I've been screaming this from the mountaintops from the day Sark got hired. I've been told that I've been too high on him, and maybe that's true. But Texas fans, we have to concede that Steve Sarkeesian is generating the same type of excitement that I have towards him, not even being a Texas fan, that these recruits are having because recruits are very, very intrigued by this Texas offer now, whereas they've always been intrigued by it when Tom Herman was there because Texas is Texas. You're a blue blood program. You will always intrigue players with offers. That's never going to be an issue. Now that intrigue has turned to genuine excitement, and that's where you want to be because this is a domino that I think is really, really about to start falling, and pieces are really about to start coming together for Steve Sarkeesian. We've talked about before, Two most important names for me, for Steve Sarkeesian, Devin Campbell and Denver Harris. Now, you can't land them both, you can't land them both. But if there's one guy in this class of 2022 that I'm going to go out on a limb and say is a must get for Texas, it's going to be Devin Campbell. So hop down to the comments, let me know what y'all think. Who's your must get guy? What do you think about Sark's recruitment of the running back position? And what do you think about Sark's short tenure with the University of Texas? That's it. Be sure to stick around because more videos are coming. See ya.